Good morning, everybody. So, a little bit ch change in the scenery. I'm outside today because although it has been in the hundreds, it's a little bit cooler this morning outside. So, I decided to come outside to film this. Um, I've been telling everybody that I was going to film this review on and explain to you how we got this. Don't mind the ground. It's stained. Um, it's life. It's concrete. Get over it. So, well, let me start out with, if you guys are new here, I'm Lorelai. I post everyday real life stuff. We don't sugarcoat anything around here. We're a family. We argue. We fight. We love. We get along. We don't get along. Um, I post a little bit of everything. So, um, <laughs> long story, but if you guys are new, like I said, like, subscribe, don't forget to hit the bell so that you guys don't miss anything, um, and just come along with us on this journey that we call life. I guess I will start out with by saying and explaining to you how we came about this. So, having three kids before, I have all of the Costco wagons, and I, I have about three of them. Well, whenever we did sports, I would toss all of their stuff in here. The bags, the sports equipment, um, a small ice chest so we can have drinks when it's really hot outside. A little bit of everything would go into my wagon. Um, skip 11 years down the road, I never would have imagined I was going to have another baby, but I did. And I had seen these wagons everywhere, absolutely everywhere. We do have a stroller, and I love my stroller, don't get me wrong, but having to tote around, like I said, ice chests to make sure that the baby's bottles are either warm or cold, to make sure she has good food, to make sure she has snacks, blankets, toys, diapers, wipes. We have a backpack, that's a diaper bag. It works, but we still need extras, and there's a little compartment underneath, and it doesn't always hold everything. So I wanted to get a new and improved wagon. Now, when looking at these wagons, I did go in and I was weighing in all factors, okay? I, I weighed in everything. Um, this was the one that I loved. I was in love with. My friend has one. It's not li exactly like this one. Ours is a little bit different, more expensive, um, but, and this one was on Amazon. I did not find it in the Target app. I mean, at the Target store. They have a different one that's at the Target store. I believe it's like a gray one. This is like an army hunter green. Um, so what I did was I was trying to compare prices, okay? And I put it into my cart and I was switching between apps, the Target app, the Amazon app, and the Walmart app um, because it was Prime Day. Amazon Prime Day. So I was like, okay, if I can get it at a discounted price, why not get it at a discounted price? So I had put it in my cart. There was some other stuff that I needed to purchase, but I put it in my cart and I left it there. Well, we have a baby that loves to get on our phone. And the kids thought it would be funny to let her go on my camera. Hee hee, ha ha. Very funny. Um, so I'm in the kitchen. Daddy sat down after work to play, you know, a quick game on his his PS5. Um, I think that's what it is. PS5 is a newer one, right? I don't know. Um, I'm in the kitchen. I'm cooking, cleaning, and I get, hey, babe, what did you buy? I'm like, what are you talking about? What did I buy? Yeah, what did you buy from Amazon? I'm like, I didn't buy anything from Amazon. Yeah, you did. It says it's coming. It'll be here on Friday. And I said, oh, I think I must have bought the baby's... Um, candy because we're doing a candy table so I said I think I must have bought you know the candy for the candy table so that's probably what's coming and he's like no you got something else coming I'm like I didn't buy anything else what are you talking about and he's like well it says here you have a Jeep wagon on its way and it'll arrive on Friday I'm like what no I didn't purchase no wagon sure enough when the kids gave the baby my phone she pressed order now because I was in that app. She was swiping through my phone and swiped up and somehow she was able to press order now and 
bought this beauty. Isn't she pretty? So it was like $322, not including tax. I was furious. I'm like, what are you talking about? I, this fly won't leave me alone. What are you talking about? I didn't purchase this. So I go on the app and I'm trying to cancel it. Sorry, ma'am, you cannot cancel this until you receive it and then you have to send it back. Oh, I was furious. I was so, so furious. Um, so I talked to my honey and he's like, look, it's already gonna be here. Just get it. We'll try it out. If we like it, I'll go halves on it with you. And we needed it anyways, so you might as well just do it. Well, we like it. So <laughs> I'm gonna let you know how I feel about this because I know tons of people, and don't mind my Crocs, okay? I'm outside. They're actually not even mine, they're my daughter's, but I'm outside and I'm not gonna come outside without shoes, so. Um, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the wagon, why I like it, and what I don't like about it. Um, so, for starters, it's absolutely beautiful. The color's beautiful, the shape of it is beautiful, the, I mean, has so many features. It's absolutely wonderful. Um, I'm gonna kind of show you what it has on it. Uh, you can't see my face, but, so all around underneath, well on the sides actually, on the sides, I don't know if you can see, let me see if I can pull this one down. It has screens that come down. Let me move the camera a little bit closer. Okay. Okay, so as you can see, it has screens that come all the way down on the, the sides. Now here on both sides of this, it has shading. And it does have Velcro, so it does Velcro down and it can block out the sun for the baby. I absolutely love that. You can also remove the top part, so you do not have to have this on here if you don't want it. Another feature that it does have that I really like is, let me see if I can show you. It has these buckles in here. It has two sides and it has the buckles in here. So. I'm gonna continue, pulled my camera off so you guys can actually see. Let me see if I can back up a little bit. As I said, the ground is dirty, guys. The baby spilled some popsicles out here. Like, I'm not in the mood. But anyways, okay, so it does have this compartment here. It's a zipper pocket. Has three compartments here that you can put stuff in here, whatever you choose. Um, it has this compartment here, which is a really nice one. And here, we stuck her big bubble Thing in this one um, when we went to the beach and it says maximum weight inside this bag is five pounds it does tell you like avoid burns near place with hot drinks maximum for this one is six pounds so that's nice I don't know let me see if this in here says the maximum weight um you can't really see if it says maximum weight inside of there I'll look on the box. But it also has this Jeep um, cooler. And I did figure something out about this. Let me open this. Okay, I got it open. So this is max 15 pounds that it will hold. I did figure something out about this. It is not waterproof. We put ice in here. I was looking forward to it because it has the insulation in it. Um, and you can see the watermark on it. I'm gonna wash it, but it's not waterproof and I did not like that at all. I figured for it being Jeep, you know, the Jeep brand wagon, they would have at least not gypped on that and they would have at least made it to where it was waterproof, but it's not. So on this side, it has another compartment back here this one is maximum five pounds also. Let me throw that up there. This is maximum five pounds also in here and in here. And this is just, like you see, I 
put a bag for garbage. So when we're at the beach, we pick up our own garbage. But I did find this and it has another compartment here and it also has a cup holder. I think they kind of, don't mind the stuff in the background, but I think they kind of gypped um, us on the just one cup holder. I think because there's obviously gonna be two parents, I think there should have been two of them. Um, I don't think you can get any more. So we're just gonna have to do with one. As you can see, we did use it already. I want you guys to know we did use this, non-sponsored. Um, <laughs> baby purchased it, but there's sand inside of there. She loves it. Um, I'll show you guys the box. I have my coffee. I got a new coffee, uh, coffee cup, Starbucks. So this is the box. Um, it says two five-point harnesses for added safety, full canopy, mesh top, and sides. It did also come with the five-in-one um, infant car seat adapter. So I did get that, but it does not include the car seat, obviously. Um, it has, oh, I didn't even show you guys. It does have the brakes on both of these here. And then on the other side, I'll show you. It has the one brake here. These wheels are huge in the back as comparison to the ones in the front, which is really nice also. These things here, they go up and down. As you can see, this one is more down. I lifted them up so you guys can see, but they do go up and down, as you can see here. Um, rear wheel suspension, swivel lock. The parent cup, obviously, detachable cooler with shoulder straps, holds 16 12 ounce cans, not waterproof. So if you're looking for the waterproof, it's not waterproof. Parent organizer can be attached on any side, convenient storage side pockets, and folds up for easy storage and transport. What I will say about the easy transport is... Okay, so got interrupted a little bit was talking to the neighbor um, about how we came to purchase this beautiful wagon of ours. <laughs> but um, now where was I? Okay, the fold up for easy storage. Let's see, that fly will not leave me alone. Fold up for easy storage. Okay, now this is what I'm gonna say on the fold up. It does fold up super easy. Um, I don't like the fact that you have to take that off and that off and you have to take that off when you fold it up. It does fold up. It's not as compact as they make it seem, um, but other than that, it does fold up. Now, another thing, it is very, very heavy. Uh, um, trying to get this thing in and out, it is very, very heavy, but would I recommend it? Absolutely. Is it worth it? Absolutely. So I think with all of the perks that it has, I think with all the perks that it has, all of the shading that it offers for baby or for kids or for pets, you can see it gets pretty dark in there. Um, would I recommend it? Absolutely. Is it worth the investment? Absolutely. I think that if I could, I have more kids, so I would get another one of these. I mean, maybe Jeep wants to send me another another thing to review and I will do that for you guys. <laughs> but I don't think I'm at that point yet. Um, but I definitely would recommend this. So I definitely, I definitely would recommend this. I um, think that you know, it is worth the investment. I think that if you are looking into purchasing a wagon that has all of the bells and whistles, if you are at that point where you need something that, and let me tell you, this actually, I don't know how much it can hold, but let me see if I can turn this around. Okay, so it does say that it can hold up to um, 110 pounds. It will hold up. Sorry, we live next to a busy street here in our small town. Um, it can hold up to 110 pounds, and I guess it's like 55 uh, pounds per harness seat. 
But when I tell you we packed this wagon so tight and with so much stuff, it held it all. Um, it really, really did do its job. I'm like squinting, <laughs> starting to get sunny out here. But again, I would recommend this. I would recommend spending the money. I think it's worth the money. I think that it's worth the investment. And in the future, I will purchase more Jeep products because I do, my toe is itching. Oh, I do, I do like this and I think it was what we needed. Um, and it, I just noticed it does have a zipper pocket down here. I guess that's for cleaning. And I probably should do that because we have lots of sand in there. Uh, but yes, so. Okay, you guys, so I wanted to show you how easily it is to push, pull. It works really, really well. Um, you can maneuver it, pull it back this way. It is awesome, it's amazing. You can see me standing next to it. For reference, I am 5'3", um, maybe a little bit more than 5'3", almost to 5'4". I'm very short. <laughs> um, and I am 155, so I probably could get in this, my weight, but it says 110. I mean, I think it would carry me. But as you can see, it works really, really well. Um, these do go up and down. You can move them and they go all the way down. You can lock these into place. You can use the one side or you can use both sides. So say for instance, I'm on this side and I pull it and I'm like, oh no, I wanna pull it from this way now. So I can pull it from this way. This side also goes up and down all the way. You can remove these for cleaning. They have a zipper on here. I probably will never do that because I don't want it to get messed up. Um, here, let me pull the whole mom move like this. You know how moms do that and they like. Um, then I'm going to show you guys how to um, take it down. Okay, in here there is a little thing. I don't know if you can see this down here. You push it and you're gonna pull up and this is how you take it down for all the sides and I'll do that right now. Like I said, there's a little nab here, you push it. And these, I'll show you, fold up super easy. All right, these fold down like this. And then it folds together. And I don't know if you can probably buy a strap or just tie a string around it to keep it together, but it folds up super nice and compact. It's not huge. It, I really like that about this is the fact that it completely folds up compact. So this is another thing that I don't like about this. You have to take these off in order to um, in order to fold it up but it does have these straps and you can actually strap I believe it goes to the side I think this is how it goes I've not used these ones yet so there are straps here and you're able to strap it and you can have it here on the end, which I think that might be, can you do that with the, you can't do that with the ice chest though, just with this one. But I think that might be what we end up doing because it seems just more functional and you can put your cell phone here, your wallet here, you can do it so that way you're not worried about people grabbing it. Um, so I'm gonna show you how it folds up. Like I said, that's kind of my only issue that I have with it is the folding up part. All right. This has the ice chest. 
and it has a stand that when you put it on here, it holds the weight of the ice chest and it clips onto the back and you just slide it right through there. So I'm gonna fold this up and show you guys how to do that. All right, let me see. So as you can see, there's sand in here. We went to the beach, there's sand, there's a little bit of bread. It has a handle here, you're gonna pull up and it automatically, let's see. Try to do this with one hand, guys. It automatically comes together like this. And then I'm gonna put it down. I'm gonna put this side down. And it has a clicking strap here that if you wanna do it tighter, you can do it on the tighter one, which I like better. Um, or you can do it on the looser one. So I'll show you, I'm gonna put it in the car and show you how that works. Okay, as you guys can see, we still have some beach gear in here. Um, this is what I was telling you. It is heavy. It is made of, gosh, steel, I don't know, but it is heavy. So it's a little bit hard to get in. It's really, it's really heavy. But is it worth it? Yes. Would I tell my baby to buy it all over again? Probably. So, you can put it in this way, or you can turn it around. But as you can see, it's in. Take these, shut that in. Ice chest here, and compartment, and we're done. This is my review. I hope you enjoyed my thought process and how I feel about this. And like I said, I'm not gonna beat around the bush. I told you what I liked about it, what I did not like about it. And I will never try and sell something to someone that I just did not like. Um, but okay, well, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I am going to clean this up, pack this up and put it back in the car. I'm going to get inside because I can start to feel the heat coming. I think it's supposed to be like 104, 105 today. It's a little windy right now, as you can see the wind, but it's not, it's not too bad. Um, so I'm gonna head on inside and I will see you guys soon. Come back, like, so make sure to subscribe because if you do not subscribe, then I cannot keep putting out content like this. So takes two seconds, you go to my page, you subscribe, you like the videos, you don't even have to comment, like, comment if you want. Hit the bell so that way you guys don't miss anything and I hope you guys have a wonderful day and come back for more. See you guys soon.